Hello and welcome to Algoma Family Services Community Kitchen at Home Edition. My name is Joanna Ratucci and I will be your Community Kitchen facilitator today. Our recipes this week incorporate the use of canned vegetables, frozen vegetables, and several dry goods. They are nutritious, economical, and I would like to think delicious. I had one goal in mind this week as I was searching through my cupboards, fridge, and freezer. And that one goal was to not to have to leave the house unless it was absolutely necessary. So, spoiler alert, I succeeded. So, based on Casa Ratici ingredients, this week we will be making sweet and sour chicken wings, veggie lo mein noodles, and marshmallow squares. But, before we get started, let's take 20 seconds to wash our hands with warm water and soap. I'll wait around until you're done. Welcome back. Let's get started by making our sweet and sour chicken wings. For this recipe, you're going to need the following ingredients. Three pounds of chicken wings, salt and pepper to taste, three quarter cup of sugar, four tablespoons of ketchup, half a cup of vinegar, and one tablespoon of soy sauce. If you don't have chicken wings for this recipe, that's all right. You can use chicken drumsticks or any kind of chicken that you have on hand. If you are using a different cut of chicken, be sure to adjust your cook time accordingly. If you're not a fan of sweet and sour sauce, that's not a problem either. You can use barbecue sauce instead. So you can use two cups of whatever barbecue sauce you have on hand. Now that we have all of our ingredients together, it's time to start cooking. The first thing we're going to do is turn on our oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. We are going to bend the wings of our chicken wings now. In order to do this, you're going to tuck the tip under the large joint to form a triangle. If for some reason your chicken is being a little bit stubborn and not forming that triangle, that's all right. It's fine to leave it as is. Let's take a moment to season our chicken wings with salt and pepper on both sides. Once you're done doing that, you're going to arrange your chicken wings in a single layer on one or two baking sheets. We are now going to bake our chicken wings for 45 minutes until they're browned, making sure to flip them once at the 20 minute mark. While we're waiting for our chicken wings to cook, we're gonna go ahead and get started on making our sweet and sour sauce. To do this, you're going to combine four tablespoons of ketchup, a three quarter cup of sugar, half a cup of vinegar, and one tablespoon of soy sauce. Our chicken wings are done and they smell delicious. We're now going to add our sweet and sour sauce to the chicken wings. Once you're done doing that, you're going to return them to the oven for another 20 minutes, making sure to flip them at the 10 minute mark. Let's move on to our veggie lo mein noodles. For this recipe, you're going to need the following ingredients. 
four to six ounces of ramen noodles, two to three cups of diced vegetables, three green onions, sesame oil, soy sauce, and sugar. If you don't have green onions, that's not a problem. You can use whatever onions that you have on hand. The same goes for the sesame oil. Please do not feel locked into having to use this oil. You can utilize whatever cooking oil that you have in your household. When it comes to the vegetables for this recipe, the possibilities are endless. You can use canned vegetables, frozen vegetables, or fresh vegetables as well. Last but not least, you can use whatever noodles that you have on hand for this recipe as well. So if you're using the packaged ramen noodles, just remove the noodles from the packaging and disregard the spice pouch. Now that we have all of our ingredients, let's get started. Let's start off by mixing our sauce. What we're going to do for this is combine three tablespoons of soy sauce, one teaspoon of sesame oil, and one teaspoon of sugar. Once you're done combining all of those things, you're going to set it aside for later use. Fill a pot about halfway with water. Turn on your stovetop to medium high heat and wait for your water to boil. While waiting for our water to boil, let's start prepping our vegetables. I am going to be dicing up one yellow onion, one medium sized carrot, one bell pepper, and then I'll also be utilizing frozen corn and peas today. Now that our water is boiling, we're going to add in our noodles and cook it according to package directions. For me, that's going to take about three to four minutes. We are nearly halfway done with our veggie lo mein noodles. Now you're going to heat one tablespoon of sesame oil in a large wok or skillet. From there, you're gonna add in your onions and vegetables until they're fork tender. That's going to take about five minutes. in your cooked noodles and about half of the sauce. Toss it around in the hot pan until well combined. Feel free to add more sauce if you desire. I like to gauge how I like my noodles by their color. I personally like a nice medium brown color. Not too light, not too dark, just perfect for me. Our veggie lo mein noodles are finally ready. So let's set that aside on the dinner table with our sweet and sour chicken wings while we quickly whip up our dessert. It's marshmallow square time. This recipe makes a big bunch and is a great snack for you and your family. For this recipe, you're going to need the following ingredients. One package of marshmallows, so about 400 grams, a third cup of butter or margarine, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one box of cereal, so about 525 grams, and half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. First, in a large saucepan, you're going to melt your margarine and your marshmallows over medium heat being sure to stir it constantly. Once your mixture is smooth, you're going to remove it from the heat and add in your teaspoon of vanilla extract. From there, you're going to add in your cereal in small batches, being sure to stir it well after each addition. Lastly, you're going to stir in your half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips.
Spray a 9 by 13 inch cooking pan with non-stick cooking spray. Press your cereal mixture into the pan. Then you're going to cover it with plastic wrap and refrigerate it until it's firm. That's going to take about one hour. But if you would prefer chewy squares, just store your squares at room temperature. Thank you for joining Community Kitchens at Home Edition. It's been wonderful having you in the kitchen and I look forward to when we can cook together next time. Have a wonderful day.